In order to understand the purpose of a SOC 2 audit report, I think it's important to understand the background and the history of service organization control reports. The original audit was referred to as a SAS 70, and it addressed internal controls, which can definitely include security. But over the years, people started treating the SAS 70 as a report in order to prove that a vendor was secure when that was not the original intention of that service organization control report. And so when the SAS 70 was replaced with the SSAE 16 standard, the AICPA renamed that the SOC 1 and they introduced the SOC 2 audit report in 2009 by issuing the trust services principles that address security, availability, confidentiality, process integrity, and privacy. So finally, we had a standard, we had some principles to rest upon that allowed us to address security, and that's what the SOC 2 report is all about. You are able to choose which principles to include into that report, and security is always the core uh, principle that has to be included in a non-privacy principle SOC 2 audit report.